Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Expert Play, XP Cal, getting back to you guys another reaction video. But I'm sorry this video can you come out a little bit later today, I went to bed early, uh, and I had plans to wake up early to record, and I woke up early, but then I had to babysit earlier than I just, well, even calculated. I got up at like 4 a.m., had to babysit at 5 a.m. I originally had to babysit until 8.30, now I guess I don't have to babysit until 8.50, but um, it is 8 right now, so... I'm gonna edit when I'm babysitting, so that's why I'm recording now, so I don't have him in my way. Um, but anyways, this is the Boruto Manga Chapter 51 Review. The title of this chapter is called Sacrifice. Um, apparently, Naruto is supposed to die in this chapter, and at the end of the chapter, I'm gonna tell. Well, at the end of the review, I'm gonna tell you guys why. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna summarize uh, this video because for some reason, I always tell told every little bit of detail. I'm gonna add in some pictures in this video. It might not be a lot, but I'm adding some definitely. But um, yeah. Uh, so like I said, I'm just gonna summarize the video instead of just basically talking about the whole chapters uh, part by part. I don't know why I did that or detail by detail. Uh, I'm just gonna summarize it. Uh, but if you guys do want to see the chapter, I will leave the link down in the description below. Well, I don't have to leave the link. Just go to Viz Media, uh, vizmedia.com or download the Viz Media app and. Uh, they have mangas there, so you guys literally just read them for free. They have free mangas come out every month, so every time a new manga comes out every month, you can read it for free. You only have a certain amount that are free, though. You can download it. Uh, so, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys are new, please subscribe and uh, join the ongoing Army of the Plague School. I'm on the road to 2K subs, and also press that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Um, also, join Conrail Connoisseur stream later on today. It is going to be at 1 p.m. I'm going to be on his stream showing off my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, uh, yeah. So, please attend that. It's going to be at 1 p.m. EST. Uh, this might be coming out at 12 p.m. So, it will be happening an hour after this is uploaded. So, if you guys watch this before then, check out his stream. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below as usual. Along my Instagram, Twitch. Twitter and Discord and uh, along with the intro and outro playlist to my uh, videos so I hope you guys really enjoy this uh, review video and I will uh, catch you guys in the review So we started off where we left off last month, where Boruto said, you can't kill me, can you? And then, um, Ishiki basically asked Boruto, what is the reasoning about, like, what makes you so sure that I can't kill you? And, uh, Boruto basically says that Boro spilt the beans on part of his plan. And then we go to Amato, uh, Shikamaru and the others, and Amato basically confirms it, saying that Boruto is needed to get fed to the, um, Ten tails in order for the divine tree to grow and bear chakra fruit. So basically, back when Kaguya and Ishiki first arrived on Earth, Kaguya was supposed to be sacrificed to the ten tails, and since she was a lower being, but you know, Kaguya got a little taste of that Earth D. You know, she got a, she got a little she got a little taste of that D, bro. She got a little taste of that D and did not want to go back to Ishiki, bro. She's like, nope, Earth D is better. Screw you, you can, you, you can go die by yourself, bro. <laughs> so, you know, Ishiki was the one that ended up getting eaten by the Ten Tails, and then, you know, placed his karma on Jigen. Well, not really karma on Jigen, but he got reincarnated in Jigen, and so on and so forth. So, basically, this is why that um, Osutsuki's travel in pairs, because one Osutsuki is sacrificed, but they do reincarnate since they have the, you know, ability to reincarnate. So, which is kind of convenient, which is basically what uh shikamaru said so basically they did con uh, amaro did confirm that um boruto is needed to get well needed since you know momoshiki is inside um uh boruto and they talk talk start talking a little bit more about this later on um where uh 
Ishiki planned on uh, killing himself, and so did Kara. But you know, Boruto came along with Momoshiki, and they said a younger uh, Otsutsuki would be better than you know a decrepit old Otsutsuki like uh, well Ishiki, so to speak. So we go back to the fight where Boruto is literally getting ready to kill himself. Like, bro, this dude had the balls on this kid, bro. Like, literally, just pointing to the kunai, takes his kunai, pointing to the throat. He said, "All right, bet. You take another step, and I'm gone, bro. You lose, you lose your, you lose your only hope to arrive in the, uh, get in the divine tree." And then you know, Ishiki shrinks the kunai, and then you know, kicks the crap out of freaking Sasuke right into the ground. Then magically appears Legos out of the sky and drops them on his head. I'm just joking. There's like chakra blocks or something like that. But he did drop him on Sasuke's head, and then Boruto gets mad, says Sasuke, tries to use his uh, Rasengan, Ishiki shrinks it, grabs his arm, he said, you know, I can't kill you, but don't think for one second I'm not going to hurt you, then literally breaks his hand, and uh, then stomps him to the ground, so, yeah, Ishiki is definitely, um, yeah, and then we go back to uh, where Kawaki is kind of, Mad. Well, he's not kind. Of, he's pretty angry at Amato for uh, being so calm during this. And Amato says he's so calm because he chose his fate and he's willing to live with it. He said he chose to come down to Konoha. He chose to uh, have Sasuke, and Naruto, basically protect him. He said it so. If Naruto and Sasuke die, Ishiki comes there and takes Kawaki and kills him. So be it. And you know, Kawaki's kind of mad. And then Amato says so. Basically, um. What's all this anger coming from? Is it from uh, the powerlessness, or just by, lo or just uh, you miss your karma mark, so to speak? And then, yeah, a little bit of that may be out of order, but you get the gist of mostly everything I just said. Uh, I'm basically just summarizing it. And then Naruto, after that, Naruto gets to start to head to the battlefield. He he uh, can't sense the uh, chakra because basically the chakra blocks are sort of like the chakra rods, where it kind of interferes with the sense of the sensory uh, type so chakra sensory doesn't really work on these blocks so Naruto's heading Naruto sorry Naruto Naruto's heading to the battlefield and Korum says yo what's the plan and he says he's, he's out of ideas to be honest but he's prepared to die as the Hokage and he said so Kuruma's like so basically no real plan and he's like well, Kuruma's like, so you're since you're prepared to die, and I was like, uh, what do you mean, basically, and he's like, well, I have this, like, basically, it's a last, uh, stand, ace up your sleeve, you know, and Arda says, why haven't you said anything before, he said, because you will die, he says, Naruto, you will die from this, this is not, this is literally, since you're already prepared to die, you might as well just use it, and Naruto says, um, and he said, uh, well, he was ready. He was ready to use it. Then we go back to the um, uh, fight, well, the scene with uh, Ishiki basically having Boruto's face in the dirt, confirming what Amato said, saying you're going to get fed to the Ten Tails, and since you have no problem with dying anyways, this is going to make it a whole bunch more easier. Naruto comes in, literally kicks the crap out of Ishiki, kicks him, and then... Um, Kuruma says, so you ready for this? Are uh, you ready to die? Well, Boruto was like, hey, yo, dad, get away. Um, and Naruto says, don't worry about me. I'm the Hokage. And says he's prepared, he's been prepared to, um, he's been prepared to die or prepared to do that since he became Hokage. And then he says, no, ever since he decided he wanted to become Hokage. And then, you know, you see Kuruma confusing Chakra. Boruto and Sasuke looking there, astonished as crap. And then Naruto takes that new form. Uh, and that's basically where we end. And Sasuke's like, that's Naruto. Ishiki's like, what's with his chakra? What's that? Well, what the, you know. And then basically that's the end. We see the just see the new form. And you have to wait until what happens. Until chapter 52 on November 20th. So, uh, yeah, that was definitely a lot to talk about. This video is going to be a little bit shorter, as you guys can tell, but um, I'm just going to summarize it instead of basically saying every single detail, which I don't know why I've ever did that before, but I'm just skimming through and giving you guys a little summary, but I do not think Naruto is going to die from this, because think about from the beginning of Boruto, Naruto was there, because Kawaki tells Boruto, I'm going to send you to the same place I sent Lord Seventh, so everyone knows that Naruto survives at least up until then, so... 
how does he survive that mode? I feel like if he does die, Sasuke will use Rene Rebirth to bring him back to life or something like that. And Boruto was planned to sacrifice himself to, well, protect Sasuke, so to speak. So, we'll all find out next month. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, please smash that like button. And I will catch you guys next time on Expert to Plague XP Kage out. Peace out, Plague Squad.